And now to the latest on the crisis at the Capitol. And members of Congress want to award the Congressional Gold Medal to Eugene Goodman. He is the U.S. Capitol Police officer who lured the rioters away from the unguarded chambers, allowing members of Congress time to evacuate. Officer Goodman was not the only one to risk his life during the siege. An officer who was beaten with a flagpole is now speaking out after being released from the hospital. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has their stories of survival. This video shows the moment rioters dragged Officer Mike Fanone down the steps of the Capitol, punching and tasing him. He was even pummeled with an American flag. A photo from overhead shows the officer face down on the ground, a rioter holding a police baton over his neck. Guys were like grabbing gear off my vest and they ripped my badge from me. I was tased, I think about a half dozen times on the back of my neck. I remember guys chanting like kill him with his own gun. Officer Fanon says he thought of his four daughters and yelled to the crowd, I have kids. A couple of them showed mercy. Uh, thank you, but thank you for being there. Fanon is now on sick leave after suffering a mild heart attack, but says he'll be on duty next week if needed. Oh, hell yeah. You know, I went there for my brothers and sisters in law enforcement. There's no army on this earth that would prevent me from fighting us alongside those guys. Among the other officers assaulted by rioters inside the Capitol, <laughs> Officer Daniel Hodges, who was nearly crushed by the crowd. That was one of the uh, three times that day where I thought, well, this might be it, you know. We're not the traitors. We're the ones who saved Congress that day, and we'll do it as many times as necessary. And it was an honor and a privilege to be able to be there and shut down those people that day. And Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman, who's been hailed a hero after he drew rioters away from the Senate chamber, could receive a congressional gold medal. A bipartisan group of lawmakers introduced a bill saying Goodman deserves Congress's highest civilian honor for putting his life at risk to save them. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.